Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I want to go over to the 10.50 spoofer that everybody's been talking about. If you've been following along, um, caught a lot, caused a lot of drama in the scene. Um, so I thought I'd just explain it so that way everybody has a general idea of what it does and uh, what the purpose of it is. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Now, I've already went ahead and downloaded it. Um, the the source I downloaded from Vortex. Um, his source is currently for 5.05. Sistro has it for 6.72. Uh, Lethal also has it for 6.72. There's a lot of branches of it. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, download it if you want. But uh, yeah, we'll just jump right into it. Um, so I went ahead and changed it. Uh, changed a bunch of it just for the uh, for it to work with 9.00. But uh, we'll jump into the installer and we're gonna go into the source. Then we'll open up the main. And what we're going to do is scroll down just uh, right about here. So you can see here it says spoof SDK version um, just to enable VR. I think the main purpose of that was in 6.72 to enable the VR. Um, so it's not really a big thing now because VR is already available on 9.00. Um, so you can see right here the SDK version patch. Um, that's it basically you would need to do is uh, dump a kernel and the the number is located in that kernel I won't get into that right now um, but this is what we're basically looking at the fake firmware version um, so if we go ahead and back up here and we go into the include and we go into define so you can see uh, right here define fake firmware it is set for 9.00 right now um, we could change that to basically anything. You could put 9999 and then you'd be you'd be spoofing right to 99.99 .99. um, but in this here case it's spoofed to 10.50 and then we can go ahead and just save that. So what we'll do is we'll make a few copies of this here. We'll make uh, one spoof to 10.50 and then one spoof to 9.00. Then we'll go ahead and load it up on the PS4, and I'll show you exactly what the purpose of uh, what the main purpose of this is. So let's just jump over to our main, and we're going to scroll right down to the bottom, right here. So it says "Welcome to PS." This is the the main message that you get. Um, so we spoof this here one to the 10.5.0. Um, don't worry about the version. The version is just the over and define. This is the, the version here that's just going to pop up. So no big deal. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll make sure this is saved as well. And we'll come up here. We're just going to, the first thing we're going to do is clean it. So we'll use the clean.sh. So clean.sh. And then we'll go ahead with the, oh, with the, the build. Just uh, put that in build.sh. Okay, we'll let it build. And once it's built, we can go ahead and just rename it. For the video, we'll just name it uh, 10.10.5.0. So we'll go ahead and put that right here. And we're going to do the same thing, but let's do it for. Let's do it for nine. So we'll just do nine zero zero. Go ahead and save our define. And we'll go into our main and we'll just name this here nine zero zero. Just so we can see it when it does pop up and then it's easier to explain exactly what's happening. Go ahead and save. Do the same thing up here. We'll do our clean first. And then we'll go ahead with the build. Okay, and we'll rename this one. And we'll name it 10 nine zero zero. Okay, perfect. So we have them both built. Uh, I'm going to make it just a quick launch host that we can get it to pop up. I'll do that off the camera, but uh, we'll definitely uh, load it up on the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and launch our custom host that we just made. Okay, the cache is installed. We'll go ahead and reopen the page. 
give it a few minutes to give us the message to insert our USB. Okay, any moment it should pop up. There we go. Go ahead and insert our USB and we'll wait for our unsupported file system message. Go ahead and hit OK. Okay, we can go ahead and remove the USB and hit OK. Okay, so there you go. Welcome to PS4 Hen 900213. So right now we have it spoofed as 9.00 so if we go into settings it's not going to change anything in the uh, the system even if we go ahead and get out into rest mode and come back in it's still going to say 9.00 because that's what we have it spoofed to so we'll go ahead and back out of there now if we go into our games and we go ahead and launch say a newer game um, I think Modern Warfare is one, which is pretty old now, but uh, if you go ahead and launch it, okay, so it sees us running 9.00. It's going to tell us to update to 9.50. Um, try a new one. I think Final Fantasy is another one. That one requires a later. Resident Evil might even require 10.01. Um, nope, it says 9.50 or later. Um... Not really sure. Let's try wrestling. Ah, there we go. So wrestling requires 10.00 or later. So you get the general idea of what's uh, what it does. Now, what I'll do is I'll set it up for the 10.5 that we have, and we'll go ahead and launch that. Okay, so I went ahead and loaded up 10.50. Um, go ahead and just close that out there. Go ahead and launch it. Give it a few moments here to do the jailbreak. I'll get my USB ready. Shouldn't take very long. Any moment now. There we go. Insert our USB and we'll wait for the unsupported file system message to pop up. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and remove our USB and hit OK. Okay, welcome to HEN 10.5 version 2.1.3. Go ahead and hit our PlayStation button. Then we'll come down to our games. Uh, we can go ahead and load Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Okay, and as you can see, it does open up with no issues. Now, we're not getting the, uh, the message to go ahead and upgrade our system because it's spoofing it, right? It's spoofing it to, to make it think that we are on the 10.50. Uh, so we can go ahead and close that out. Um, I'll load another one just to show you. Um, let's jump over to, I think Resident Evil was one of the ones we tried. And as you can see, that's loading up now as well. Um, a good thing that we can test out here just to show you once I can close this. Uh, there we go. So we'll jump over to our settings. And we'll go down to our system. And then system information. So you can see it's 9.00 there. If we back out of here, and I believe that we don't have to go into rest mode, I think if we just log out and log back in, it should come up with the 10.5. So we'll go ahead and log back in. And we'll go to settings. System, system information, and it is 9.00. Okay, let's just try to go into rest mode really quick here. Shouldn't take very long. Um, but once we do come out of rest mode, it should say the 10.50. Now there's ways around this here to get it to stay. Once you do launch the hen, I didn't go ahead and do all that work, but uh, there is ways you can set it up so that way that when you do load hen, it will say the 10.50 and there's also ways to block it out so it just stays at 9.00 it just so happens with this old code that's just the way it is if you go ahead and set that spoofer up then uh, when you commit a rest mode it will say the 10.50 okay so we're just about into rest mode here I still got the amber light flashing
Um, okay, seems to be taking a little longer than I thought. Uh, I think there we go. So I'll hit the PlayStation button to power it back on. And we'll give it a few minutes just here to boot up. Okay, looks like we're loading in now. Now we load into Echo Stretch. And we'll jump over to settings and down to system. System information, and there you go, 10.50. So that's basically all it is, guys. Uh, I just want to jump on, show you that there. Just a quick video that, yes, a spoofer does exist in no matter what we use. Um, it is required to launch these games. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that there subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.